Good evening to all. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to all. Julie, good evening. Lalita, good evening. Priyanka, good evening. And Varsha, good evening. So most of the people call me sir. I don't like it. Actually, call me Philip. So then only we can, I mean, you know, interact more. So don't make the distance. So good evening. So Tarashni, good evening. Praveen, good evening. V, good evening. Mr. Arif, good evening. So don't call me sir. Call me Philip. Yeah, Manoghar, Manoghar, very good evening. Good evening to all. Anu, good evening. Vinay, good evening. Uh, Vijayaradi, good evening. Yes, Mani, good evening. And Anthony, good evening. Supriya, good evening. Yes, good evening, good evening all. Yes, very good evening and happy evening to all. I hope I am audible. My voice is clear. So without delay, I am going to enter into today's session. Good evening all. Hello everyone. This is Philip Eddy from Panchaki Learning. And I welcome you all for engaging your learning experience with Panchaki Learning anytime, anywhere and any places. We are always supporting to the students in a technical way. And what is our main vision? We are going to help 10 million students to learn technical knowledge by the ECB. And I welcome you all to today's session, day 2 of Artificial Intelligence Masterclass. I welcome you all once again and happy evening. Good evening to all. Yeah, Nirmala, very good evening. Don't call me sir, call me Philip. Most of the people call me sir. Actually, uh, if you call me sir, uh, in the sense, it is not, uh, I mean, you know, a good way to communicate with me. So, uh, please, please call me Philip. Okay, right. Good evening, good evening. Yes, Meghna, good evening. Lakshmi Priya, very good evening. Yes, hi, uh, hello, good evening. Rogit, good evening. Yes, Raga, good evening. Sheikh, good evening. Jagana, Doshini. Yes, uh, Samika, programmer. And, uh, yes, okay. Kalayasi, Danush. Krishna Kumar, okay. Good evening all. Yeah. So today we are going to discussing about the one of the interesting topic that is, I mean, you know, uh, Python. So basic Python we are going to discuss. So what we are going to cover today? Today we are going to discussing about the basic Python and the overview of Python and how to install the Python software. These are the things we are going to discuss. And very important thing what is the meaning of library what is the important libraries we are going to use for this particular artificial intelligent technology these are the things today we are going to discuss are you guys are excited are you guys are excited if you guys are excited means please mention in the comment box yes philip please mention in the comment box yes philip then only it will be more interactive so that is the reason so if you guys are excited to listen to the classes means please mention in the command box as well. Yeah. Okay. So without delay, so most of the people can understand what is the meaning of Python, what is the purpose of Python, this kind of things. So what is the basic thing? What is Python actually in the sense? It is the one of the programming language. It is a global level language actually. Okay, so uh, what is the purpose? Why the Python is needed for the artificial intelligence? That is uh, need to important, right? Why? Because this is actually very easy language and it is very comfortable for the developer and also programmer. And it will be, I mean, you know, giving the most, I mean, you know, complex problem will giving the solution with the help of the different algorithms. Actually, it will be, I mean, you know, like it, it will be giving the, I mean, you know, uh, libraries, libraries ecosystem. So that is why we choose in this one. It is the very beginner friendly and it is very comfortable for the programmer. That's why we are choosing this particular Python language. Okay. Yes, most of the people, I mean, you know, mentioned in the comment box is Philip. Thank you so much for your good response. Kind of Python. So Python 
is a language it is the high level programming language and also it is it is very easy to learn because of the syntax because of the i mean you know script why because this uh, source code is scripts with the help of the english language that means it's like a normal kind of, i mean you know um, communication uh, by using the english language so that's why we can understand easily this particular language okay so that is very always we are i mean you know call it as it is easy to understand and it is easy to understand the syntax also okay so it is very fast to learn and fast to develop the application because it will be help because it will be help to implementing the i mean you know complex uh, logic with the help of the few lines of the code we can write the i mean you know few lines of the code will give it the solution by using the python language and also it will be available for the many platforms okay so because of the syntax because of the i mean the script of the source code we can understand easily and we can understand the syntax then only it can be possible to learn easily so that's why it is a beginner friendly okay so it is a global level language most of the companies now it's they are going to i mean to prefer this kind of a language and it is very comfortable language for the developer and also programmer okay right so what is python exactly so what is your understanding guys what is your understanding so what is your understanding about the python language please mention in the command box please mention in the command box then only we can i mean you know um, continue to the class i'm excited to read your command i'm excited to read your commands so this is not a normal class please interact with me so then only it will be uh, i mean you know uh, more easy yeah but good evening good evening so what is your understanding about the python yeah it's easy to learn of course oops language high level language easy to learn yes most of the people answered very well yes interpreter simple language yeah that's good okay so normally the python is a general purpose of general process of interpreter interactive high level object oriented programming language okay so what is the meaning of interpreted what is the meaning of interactive what is the meaning of high level what is the meaning of object oriented if you guys are technicals in the sense you can understand easily related to the computer science department but so most of the people doesn't know about this this is the some technical words we need to understand the meaning of this particular words first of all interpreter interpreted in the sense it is nothing but a mediator it is nothing but a mediator so we should understand what is the purpose of this because of programming language having the two different process what is that in the sense that is compiler and interpreter so two different process is very important for i mean you know process of the language why because in the sense normally the programming language having the two different types that is high level language and also low level language so what is the meaning of high level language and what is the meaning of low level language in the sense the high level language we can understand and we can i mean you know read easily because of the human can be understandable for i mean you know in high level language what about the low level language low level language in the sense the human can be readable because of it is nothing but the object code or binary code so that is the reason the high level language and low level language high level language human can be readable and low level language human can be readable because of it is that language the computer can be understandable so in the interpreter with the help of high level language to low level language we can convert with the help of the interpreter and also the compiler and also the compiler so that is the main purpose it is nothing but the i mean you know mediator to the, i mean high level language to the low level language okay i will i mean you know i will explain for this what is interpreted in the sense 
the source code that means high level code will convert to the low level language so what is the i mean in the purpose of the mediator what is the purpose of the interpreter here in the sense we can convert the source code into the binary code so how it can be possible in the sense with the help of interpreter here with the help of interpreter here okay so what about the compiler so compiler in the sense it is uh, I mean, it is not i mean you know executed line by line of the code it will be run at i mean you know one time for example if we have the 10 lines of the code in the sense it will run at one time what about the interpreter the interpreter in the sense this lines of the code i mean you know, executed line by line okay so because of this interpreter it is called as the interactive also okay so we need the compile here so we do, uh, do not need to i mean you know compile the program here that means interpreter but in compiler we need to compile all this because what is the main purpose of the compiler and interpreter we need to convert the high level language to the low level language that means it will be translated line by line that is interpreter it will be executed at the one thing that is the compiler okay that is the difference between these and this okay right so interpreter in the sense when, uh, once you are going to run the code in front of the i mean you know uh, command prompt uh, for example you are writing the code like you know print filler in the sense suddenly it will be executed and it will be giving the result so that is nothing but the interpreter because it is i mean you know, executed line by line and a equal to then and b equal to then then c equal to a plus b then prints c in the sense it will be executed suddenly okay so this interpreter will help to do that so that's why i mentioned here the runtime interpreter we do not need to compile this particular code so that is why python is a interpreter language what about the interactive once you are writing the code once you are writing the code with the help of the command prompt in the sense that time it will be like a conversation because you are writing the code in the sense it will be executed suddenly so that's why it is a interactive language so that's why i mentioned here actually it is interact with the interpreter directly to the write the program that means once you are going to open the command prompt and write the code with the help of the python in the sense that is i mean you know interactive because of it's like a conversation it's like a conversation what about the high level language we can understand and we can read the code so that is why the python is called as a high level language and it is supported to the oops concepts object oriented style so what is the meaning of oops in the sense when you are i mean you know we can convert the program in the live session that can be possible so that is python action okay right so why python we need for this particular i mean you know artificial intelligence technology in the sense it will be giving the standard libraries for the i mean you know artificial intelligence technology and also the machine learning techniques for example matplot numpy cborn sklearn and also the tensorflow keras so these are like the libraries is very needed for the artificial intelligence technology that is why the python will give the standard libraries for this artificial intelligence technologies If you guys are really like the session means please raise your hands in command box and hit the like button. If you guys are uh, really like the session means please hit the like button and raise your hands in command box. I am expecting I mean you know more interaction from you guys. I am expecting more interaction from you guys. If you guys are really like the session means please hit the like button and uh, raise your hands in command box. yeah so it is i mean you know uh, it is a easy syntax it is more comfortable for the i mean you know programmer and also the developer we can solve the problem we can solve the complex problem with the help of few lines of the code that's why we can choose the python language for the artificial intelligence okay right so it is a interpretive uh, runtime and uh, 
multi os compatibility and support aa related technology that is machine learning deep learning computer vision nlp these all are the techniques is that i mean aa related technology that's why i mentioned here that is why we choose in the python language here yes thank you so much thank you so much for your good support guys so most of the people commented in the command box thank you so much thank you so much yeah fine so next how to install the python software maybe that um, uh, some people are not installed in the python software in your laptop okay so this is more useful for you how to install the python software in your laptop before installing the python software we need the source to installing the i mean in a python software that means we need a python installer because python software is normally python software is normally open sourced we can get it from the internet okay so these pro four process is very important first one we need to open the i mean in a browser to i mean you know just enter the python download after that once you download it means you can uh, i mean in follow this particular procedure that means run installer once i mean you know install in the sense we need to verify the i mean you know installation okay how to do that in the sense we have to follow these four procedure okay these four procedure so just i will i mean you know tell the procedure to installing the python software okay right so first just open browser just open the browser here and enter python download okay and you can click the very initial link so this is the latest version of the python software this is the latest version of the python software actually i am using the 3.10.4 version so if you need the i mean you know oldest version in the sense you can scroll down and find here so this is the i mean you know uh, old versions of the python software okay right so here i am going to click this so if you want to i mean you know install the latest version in the sense just click this link okay just click this link it will be automatically going to download okay otherwise you need the i mean in a past version in the sense just to go down and the found here okay right find here and this is the i mean you know my installed version just to scroll down okay scroll down and click here the windows installer 64 bit okay just click this so automatically it will be downloaded like this once your installation is completed you can just go to the show in folder and I click this okay i installed already so that is the reason it will be notified like this if you are not installing in your system in the sense yeah just a minute guys not installing in your system in the sense it will be display like this okay it will be display like this you can see this right yeah so you have to must do i mean you know two different things you have to click this one and also the add path because we have to create the add path for writing the program in the working directory so that is the path okay that is the path we have to click this one after that just follow the procedure to install like you know next 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 this and all okay after installing the python software we need to verify the python installation we need to i mean you know verify the python installation how to do that in the sense just open command prompt just enter python here okay so it will be notify the installed version okay it will be notify the installed version okay so this is the one way to verify the installation another way just click the start button and enter igle once it is open properly in the sense it is installed completed it installed very well okay so this is the two way for the verification of in amino mean, python installation okay hope you guys are understood hope you guys are understood um if you guys are i mean you know doesn't know or i mean you know uh, clear very well in the sense just visit our uh, youtube channel you can find it there 
Okay, right. So now we are going to discussing about the now we are going to discussing about the important libraries for AI and also the machine learning. Okay, so important libraries in the sense what? Important libraries in the sense what? This library, what is exactly libraries? What is your understanding about the libraries, guys? Please mention in the command box. I am also excited to read your commands. You can check it. The installation videos will be available in our channel. Please find it there. Yeah. So what is the meaning of library guys? So what is the meaning of library? What is your understanding about this? I'm expecting, I mean, you know, uh, interaction more from you guys. So what is your understanding about the libraries? The collection of free divine codes, very good. Your group of module, yeah, it's, it's, it's a package containing the certain features, that's good. Built-in functions, yeah, compiler, mm, not like that, help to learn, okay, yes, okay, fine. I will explain, normally libraries or package, it is nothing but the collection of the module. Then what is the module? Module in the sense, it is the collection of the function. Maybe that you are asking the question to me, what is the meaning of function? The function is the collection of codes. That's it. One more thing, I mean, you know, one more time, I will be repeat. What is the meaning of the function? The function, in the sense, it is the collection of the codes. What about the module? Module, in the sense, collection of the functions. What is the package? It is the collection of the module. So we have in the, I mean, no, some built-in modules here, built-in package here. So these packages, these libraries is very important for the artificial intelligence technology and also the machine learning technology. So this is very important. We are going to analyze the data in the sense, Pantas is very important. We are going to work with them and we have to work with the data set in the sense, we need the Pantas library. What about the NumPy? We can work with arrays. So for example, deep learning and machine learning and deep learning and machine learning computer vision is very needed because of this is the basement of the, I mean, you know, libraries, basement of the different packages. What about the matplot? Matplot is nothing but a visualize the data. So that's why I mentioned here, the Pantas package, that is we are most widely used for the, I mean, you know, data science and also the data analysis. Okay, and it will be more helpful for the machine learning process because we are going to use the much amount of data. So we need to load the data in the sense, this kind of the library is needed. When you are going to enter to learn the machine learning in the sense, you, you know how to import this particular data set with the help of the pandas, this kind of the things, you will know. You will be learned in the future day classes. Okay, right. So this is pandas. And what about the NumPy? NumPy is one of the I mean, you know, most common package for the science and also the engineering. It will be help to work with the arrays. And also what about the Matplot? So Matplot in the sense it is the amazing, amazing visualization library. It will be plotting the 2D libraries. Okay. And also the Matplot is a multi-platform I mean, you know, data visualization library with the help of the NumPy and also with the help of the Pandas. Okay, this is the very basic library for, I mean, you know, AI and also the machine learning algorithms. So what is the important algorithm, important package in AI and machine learning in the sense Pandas, NumPy, Matplot, Scalar and uh, TensorFlow, Keras, this all of the libraries is very needed. This is the important libraries. Okay, hope you guys are understood about this. Hope you guys are underst uh, understood about this. If you guys are understood, means please raise your hands in command box. Now I am going to implementing the, I mean, you know, explaining the one by one. Okay, here I am using the Jupyter Notebook for explaining about this. 
some basic things i will be explain okay tomorrow itself we are going to enter in the introduction of machine learning after that we can discuss more about the machine learning techniques okay so today i am going to discuss i mean you know, some basic things related to the pandas numpy matplotlib okay right so before entering the i mean you know uh, uh, discussion a uh, pandas numpy so i will be discussing about the internship if you guys are interested to join the internship in the sense what you will get for the internship so you will be getting the i mean you know internship e certificate 30 days learning activity highly organized video content we i mean you know materials downloadable materials downloadable ppts and assignments and flexible time you will be learn so the video will be accessible for the 60 days okay so if you joining the internship means you will be getting all the facilities and uh, every day recorded videos every day materials this kind of the things you will be get for this particular i mean you know uh, artificial intelligence master class okay right so how to enroll this the link is mentioned in the command box the link is mentioned in the command box normally we charge one particular internship we charge 1000 rupees per each internship but we are giving only 599 use this coupon code welcome ai so you will be getting the offer nearly 400 rupees okay so if you are interested please do join the internship please do join the internship you will be getting all the i mean you know recorded videos every day contents and ppts projects this kind of things you will be getting okay right and one more offer will be there so that is complete ai bundle this complete ai bundle which we, which will he, be having i mean a python programming course machine learning course deep learning course artificial intelligence course normally we charge each course 1000 rupees so overall this particular bundle is valuable for 4000 rupees but we are giving 1000 rupees but we are giving 1000 rupees only so each program is charged 1000 rupees so totally it will be valuable for the 4000 rupees but we are giving this bundle only 1000 rupees please use this i uh, mean you know particular opportunity okay right so yes so what are the projects you will be learn you will be learn and build develop with me in the sense music recommendation system and also employee salary prediction speech emotion recognition by using the nlp ai virtual assistant by using the python so this is related to the machine learning okay so what about i mean you know uh, deep learning so leap this is detection by using the deep learning hand written recognition trouliness detection and vehicle detection and counting so this all are the project you will be learn build and develop okay right so uh, in image processing you will be learn face and eye detection in open cv object tracking based on the color in open cv face and mass recognition currency detection using the open cv and emotion recognition through the facial expression so this all are the project you will be learn in this 30 days master class without delay i am going to enter and, and i am going to explain the i mean you know complete library four libraries okay right so open anaconda navigator okay just launch jupiter notebook okay join the jupiter notebook so if you having i mean you know jupiter notebook in the sense you can uh, try it with me okay just follow this procedure you can understand all this okay right now i am going to i mean you know uh, that particular uh, i mean your current working directory yes yeah first of all i will be explain numpy okay right i need more interaction from you guys i have written i mean no certain codes you can i mean you know answer for this okay you can answer for this i will ask a question in between time okay right so first how to install the i mean you know python package that is very important right just open command prompt just open command prompt 
follow this procedure to installing the python package like for example numpy in the sense just follow this procedure so this is a way to installing the numpy package already you knew this but i have to i mean explain about this so if you are not installing in the sense it will be notified downloading but i already installed that is why it will be notified like this a requirement already satisfied so this is the way to installing the i mean you know python package okay so in uh, i mean you know uh, anaconda navigator you can just go to the environmental okay and just go to the base root open terminal and follow the procedure like you know pimp install the same procedure we have to follow here just install uh, pip install numpy okay this is the way to installing the python package okay so this is the way to installing the python package this is the procedure we have to follow right clear no yes now i am going to explain one by one so what is numpy in the sense it is stands for the numerical python it is going to work with the arrays okay right so first we need to import the library how to import that one in the sense with the help of the import keyword import numpy as np for the further usage okay right i'm going to create one single array okay i'm going to create one single array so this is the variable okay i assigning the value to this particular variable okay i i hope you know about the i mean you know variables concepts okay so i'm going to assigning this particular i mean you know value to this particular variable okay right so uh, how to create the arrays in the sense with the help of dot array that function will help to creating the arrays i'm going to print this and what is the type of the array it will be displayed like this so this is the array value for this output and this is i mean you know what is the type of the array this is the nd arrays okay so this is the basic thing so how to create a one dimensional array here so this is the one particular variable and um, we are going to assigning the values with the help of the list and arrays okay so np dot array okay np dot array it's created okay i'm going to print this this particular variable it will be display like this okay so how to accessing the array how to accessing the items in the array that is very important right so we have i um, mean you know different concepts which concepts in this sense that is nothing but the indexing so what are the meaning of indexing in the sense indexing is the nothing but the i mean you know roll number in the class roll number in this class for example here the index number 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 like that it will be i mean you know uh, the indexing value is allocated okay so how to accessing the items in that particular array in the sense with the help of the indexing with the help of the indexing okay uh, if the screen is not clear in the sense just uh, make this i mean you know full screen okay and change the resolution change the resolution value here okay right yeah so print one in the sense it will be display this particular array okay and i'm going to access so three in the sense what is the third index value here so that is four okay right and what is the i mean you know value of this particular variable and this particular code in the sense so one between the three so normally if you are mentioning the last value of the index in the sense it will be displays the till two for example if you mentioning the fourth indexing in the sense it will be displays the till 3 so that means what is the output here that's like you know 2 3 so that is the output and what about here so if you are not mentioning the initial index in the sense if you are not mentioning the initial index in the sense it is automatically taking the zeroth index so then only it will be giving the output like this okay right now i am going to ask in the question to you okay now i am going to create the two dimensional array with the help of the two different list okay with the help of two different list if the screen is i mean you know not clear in the sense just just to make the full screen and change the resolution value okay change the resolution value it will be clear okay yeah maybe that network issue so try to i mean you know make the screen full 
and change the resolution value. Yeah. So, what is the output for these particular in Aminino accessing? I am expecting from you guys, please answer this. Please answer this. Yeah. Here, I mentioned uh, do I mean you know two different things. Okay, what is the output for this one? Because it it having the I mean you know two different two different rows and five columns here. So what is the output? So what is the output for this? What is the output for this guys? I am expecting from you guys. Yeah. So first index and third index value here. That means 0, 1, 2, 3. The value is 9 for this particular output. Right? See here. Okay. Then what about the output for this? So 0 the index and second index here. That means value will be 3. Okay. So what about the, I mean, you know, this code output? What about the, this code output? So first index and 1 to 4th index, that means the value will be 7, 8, 9 till 3rd index. The value will be till 3rd index. Okay. So what about the, this output, guys? What is the output for this particular code? Please answer it. I am expecting from you guys. I am expecting from you. Yeah, most of the people answer. Yes. Yes, okay. The answer is, the answer is like, no, 3, 4. How? In the sense, this index, okay, 2, 2, 4 in the sense, it starts from 3 and 4. That means till 3. So that means that 3 and 4. This is the value of this. And the next thing, third, a three dimensional array. How to create that one in the sense like this. Okay. Right. So here the first index and zero the index and this is the first index and here zero and one and zeros and one. Finally, the output will become like this. Okay. What is the output for this one? What is the output for this one? 3 of first one and 0th index. Okay. Then second index. That means what in the sense here. Okay. The first and 0. Okay. Then the value will be 3. The output will be 3. Yeah. Okay. So this is the way we can, I mean, you know, run this code. Okay. What about the, this output? You can see the output here. That means 5. How in the sense? 0 and 1 and the output will be like, you know, 1. First index. That means this value. What about here? So, this will be the 1 and 0. Yeah. See here. This will be the 1. Okay. And this will be the 0 and this will be the second one that is 9. Okay, so this is the output comes like this. Okay, now we can convert the data type with the help of the D type. Okay, how to convert the data type for this particular array? Normally, the array will be accessing the value in the float data type. So we need to convert. So we need to convert the data type in the sense integer in the sense. So this is a way to convert. So D type is equal to I. So this is nothing but the integer. So this is nothing but the integer. So once I print this one in the sun, the output will come like this. Okay. Clear now? Yes. How to reshaping the array? With the help of, how to identify the shape of the array in the sense with the help of dot shape function. How to reshaping the array in the sense with the help of dot array shape. Hope you guys are understood. Hope you guys are understood. See here. So this is the way to, I mean, you know, shape. Print the shape of the array and this is the way to converting I mean, in a reshape of this particular array. So this is the one dimensional array. You want to reshape in the sense just to use this particular function. You can convert like this. Four rows and three columns. Four rows, 
and three columns. That means what? So this is the single dimensional array. This is the single dimensional array. Okay. So that dimensional array we can convert in the different shape in the sense by using the reshape. By using this reshape four rows and three columns. So that means it will be converted like this. Okay. So what is the shape of this particular array? In the sense it will be displaced like this four comma three. Okay. Right. If the screen is not clear in the sense just to make the full screen and change the resolution value. Change the resolution value guys. Please try it. Please try it. Yes, finally, this is the, I mean, you know, three dimensional array into the single dimensional array. Okay, how to do that in the sense with the help of the minus one, it will be convert. Okay, right. Next, I'm going to, I mean, you know, explain about the pandas. Okay, yeah. yeah. First of all, how to create the data frame by using the pandas. How to create the data frame by using the pandas. That is very important, right? So first of all, this is a way to import the pandas and how to create that one in the sense with the help of the dictionary, with the help of the libraries, we can create the data. Okay, we can create the data. This is the explanation for the pandas. This explanation for the pandas. Okay, so data is clear. Okay, with the help of the I mean, dictionaries, and also a uh, list. So this is the column name and this is the rows, I mean, you know, values. Okay, this is the rows value. That means name, Rocky, Adhir and Shanti. What about the roles? Heroes, villain and mother. So Rocky role is a hero and Adhir and role is a villain and Shanti role is a mother. Okay, so it will be create the data frame. So how to create the data frame? Maybe that it will be interview questions once you are attending the interview in the sense this will be the question. How to create the data frame? In the sense, with the help of the dot data frame, it will be create like this. Once you are not mentioning the index value in the sense, index value in the sense, automatically it will be default, it will be taking like, you know, starting from 0 to 1. Okay, right. Important things for the machine learning. Just a minute guys. Hope my screen is clear. Hope my voice is clear guys. Yeah. See here. Yes. How to load the data set here? How to load the data set in the sense with the help of the read CSV. So this is the data set which is located in the same current working directory. If it is a different working directory in the sense we have to mention in the particular path. Okay. We have to mention in the particular path. Hope you guys are listening. If you guys are listening the classes means please raise your hands in command box. Please raise your hands in command box. Yeah. See, so this is the way to load the, uh, load the data set. Now, I, I, I mean, you know, I want to see the shape of the data set. So that is why dot shape. So this will be written in the 80, I mean, you know, sorry, 891 rows and 12 columns. Okay, right. So this is the data. And what are the column names? So with the help of this particular, I mean, you know, data frame, Okay, this particular data frame, once you are using the dot columns in the sense, it will be displaced all the columns, all the columns name that is passenger ID, survived and names, sex, age and uh, ticket and impact, this kind of the things. So these are the columns name for that particular data set. Okay, right. Now, I'm going to drop all the columns. How to drop the columns? If it is that particular columns is not needed in the sense we can drop the columns. How? In the sense with the help of drop function. With the help of 
drop function it can be possible so i created the one particular column list that is name ticket and cabin these particular columns i don't want so that is the reason i'm going to drop so with the help of drop with the help of dot drop function it is going to i mean you know drop the columns okay drop the columns so what about the information now i am going to show the information about the data set it is clear right here no names and tickets columns not there and cabin columns not there right right it's clear so what about the i mean is null sum in the sense is there any null values in that particular data set in the sense we can okay we can make it so how many null values will be there with the help of is null of dot sum in the sense it will be i mean you know sum any null values will be there in the sense in age in age column 177 null values will be there you want to clear this is there any no i mean you know missing uh, column missing value will be there empty columns will be there okay how to clear this and how to find this in the sense by using the is null dot sum it will be i mean you know displays okay so here we found 177 okay here we i mean we have 177 uh, i mean you know null values we found okay right yes now now i'm going to that means uh, one person is asking what is access so access in the sense it is um, uh, yeah it is considered the column Okay, once once you are I mean you know mentioning zero in the sense it is considered rows. Okay, so once you are I mean you know mentioning the axis zero in the sense that will be considered rows and axis one in the sense it will be considered columns. Okay, right. Now I am going to fill. Now I am going to fill all the empty columns. Okay, fill empty columns means with the help of the I mean you know interpolate. This function will fill all the empty columns. this function will fill the i mean you know empty uh, rows and columns how in the sense with the help of this interpolate for example is there any empty rows in the sense it will be fills like you know na this and all okay so that is why the data frame of age and data frame of age dot interpolate it will be filled okay now i am going to find okay now i am going to find is there any null values in the sense with the help of the information about the data set there is no null value there is no null value we can see here okay once you want to drop this in the sense just use drop now the drop now function will help to drop all the missing values or all the empty columns clear no all the empty columns okay and how to split the data that is very important for the machine learning techniques that is very important for the machine learning techniques how to do that in the sense once you are going to train the model or train the machine in the sense we need independent data and also the dependent data that means dependent data in the sense that is y independent data in the sense that is x hope you guys are understood how to do that how to do that actually why i mean you know make it faster in the sense because of we don't have a time to explain all this so that is the reason guys that is the reason yeah yeah sure 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 okay fine see here you want to clear all the i mean you know null values in the sense by using the drop now it will be help to remove all the i mean you know null values okay that this drop now will help to do that this particular function will remove all this will remove all this okay so why i am i mean you know make it faster in the sense i don't have a time to explain all this so that is the reason i make it like that uh, sorry for that actually yeah see this drop now will help to remove all the missing values or null values okay clear no yes now i am going to split because y is a dependent value x is a independent variable so that is the reason we can split like this whereas i mean you know what is the dependent value in the sense depending on this particular data features depending on this particular data features that is that is the independent variable that is the independent variable but what about the dependent variable 
depending on this particular data, it will be, I mean, you know, displays like this. Okay, this is the labeled data. This is the labeled data that is the dependent data here. Okay, clear. I hope you guys are clear. So, how to display this X and Y? That's it. So, this is this is what we need for the machine learning. That's very, I mean, you know, um, enough. Okay, tomorrow itself we can, I mean, you know, learn more about this. Okay, now I am going to show the Matplot library. Okay, Matplot library, uh, we don't have a time already, it is 8.50, uh, sorry, 7.650, right? Yeah. See here, I will show the example of that. Okay, right. Matplot. You can see the output all this. Okay, you can see the output all this. I will explain in the future uh, day classes. I mean, no, once I entering the machine learning business, I will explain one by one, no problem. Okay, right. How to create the line plot? With the help of the plot, single plot for the X and Y. This is X and Y. Okay, it will be plot like this. And this is the data. We can create all the sub, I mean, in a label by using subplot 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 so one plot is a scatter one plot is the bar and one plot is a line plot see here this is for the bar plot this plot and this is for the this plot and this is for the i mean in you know, a super title okay this is super title for common all the subtitles and sub bars subplots okay and this is i mean you know plt chart show will show the all the i mean you know plots this is subplots, okay. This is bar, and this is scatter, and this is uh, line, okay. Normal plot, and this is a histogram. This is nothing but the distribution frequency, okay. And this is for the bar, bar chart, okay. And this is for the scatter, okay. This is for the scatter. So this is the data for x and y, okay. So this is the pie chart. We can, I mean, you know, make it easy. This is label. This is labels. And this is the value. See here, x is the value, the label is the a comma b comma c. Okay, clear now. So this is the way I mean you know matplot will display. I will be explain in a future day classes once we are entering the I mean you know machine learning. Okay, right. Yeah. Now I'm going to enter the my time. So without delay, I'm going to enter my time. Every day I mention in the one uh, motivational quotes. Okay, I mentioned in the one motivational quotes. Okay, so your mind is everything. Your mind is everything. What you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. So just, just, your mind is always everything. What you think, you will be become. Okay, so you will be become. So what you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. Okay, just think, just think and just feel and just imagine it will be happen one day. It will be happen one day in the future. Okay, so this is all about my time. So every day I mention one particular quote. Okay, right. So this is the motivational quote. Your mind is everything. Your mind is everything. What you think, you become. What you feel, you attract what you imagine you create so once you think in the sense you will be become these particular things you will be become these particular in the sense definitely you will be so just every day you have to think on that keep your mind in a positive way definitely it will be happen keep your mind in a positive way definitely it will be happen okay so um, thank you so much okay so this is all about my time Every day I mention one motivational course. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. So just think positive way and it will be happen one day. Don't worry. It will be happen one day. Think positive and go with the flow. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, if you have any queries related to the internship, you can contact 89255-33488. Okay, 89255-33489. This is the number to contact if you have any queries. And 89255-33484.
so this is for i mean you know uh like uh internship queries okay right yeah thank you so much thank you so much guys now i'm going to wind up now i'm going to wind up thank you so much good night all and one more thing you can connect with me you can connect with me in social media you can connect with me in social media i will share the link you can join this particular facebook group okay you can join that particular facebook group just a minute guys i will share the link in the command box i will share the link in the command box okay you can connect with me in always in the particular social media if you have any queries any feedback if you have any queries any feedback you can share that particular platform facebook group i will share the link in the command box okay please connect with me so if you want to connect with me in social media this is the particular platform and also i will uh, yeah i will share my personal facebook id you can also connect with me in this particular i mean you know platform so this is my so this is my profile okay you can uh, connect with me at any time in this particular platform okay and i share the group link also if you have any queries any suggestions you can share that particular i mean you know facebook group okay and this is the i mean you know my personal uh, facebook group you can also send a, i mean you know a frank request we can make the community to share the technical knowledge we can uh, i mean you know uh, make the community to share the technical knowledge so this is my i mean you know uh, facebook id you can also send the frank request i will accept and make the community for a technical knowledge and technical sharing okay guys so this is my facebook profile and you can give the send request i mean in a friend request definitely i will i mean in accept your request and also i will share the facebook group link okay so i will share the facebook group link in the command box and join the particular group so this is so this is the facebook group okay this is the image processing this particular group you can join this particular facebook group and we can we can uh, and uh, we can share the technical knowledge here if you have any queries any suggestions we can share it here and we can share many things about uh, uh, like uh, technical uh, way for ai and also the machine learning image processing this and all okay please do join that particular platform please do join that particular group okay image processing group we can connect at any time in that particular platform okay right yeah most of the people giving this uh, friend request thank you so much we can create the community to share the technical knowledge guys and this is my personal id philip pedit hhj okay this is my facebook profile you can also connect with me in this particular platform also okay right okay guys just i am going to wind up bye bye and thank you so much good night all have a delicious dinner bye bye and keep your mind in positive what you think you will be become definitely okay just keep your mind in a positive way bye bye and good night thank you all thank you so much